July 17th. I'm Haley Harmon alongside Seth Phillips. What's up? What's going on? Oh. I'm all Barbasol championshiped out today. Is that what it is? That's what That's it right, is. You were out there earlier today. I was out there earlier today. We filmed a really, really fun segment. I want to give out a shout out to my friend Lori, Lori Wood. She owns the women's golf clothing company, uh, Birdies and Bows. She was on the show last okay. year for the Barbasol. Um, she is so awesome. And so this is an outfit that she totally designed. You kind of can't see, but I have on like a really cute skirt as well oh, okay. that goes. Anyway, so you'll see a full look at all of her awesome clothes. She is set up at the Barbasol, so you can go get some if you want. Uh, that's coming up Friday on the show. But I just thought Sounds I'm going to rep my girl Lori yeah, today. Do it. Yeah, just make me look it. like I'm overdressed for this occasion. You're overdressed. Thanks. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. We've got a jam-packed show for that's you right. today. On the show, we're going to fire up the grill and get ready to make some juicy burgers with a kick. Mm. Our field reporter, Toby Brown, takes us on a tea party at Once Upon a Dream here in Lexington. Also, Graders is back with some summertime flavors. I'm down with that. Of course. That sounds so good. That's right. Yes, any personal news you need to share? Anything I am going having on? The, the hardest time hearing you because of this weird IFB that I'm wearing right now. It was kind of a last minute addition because uh, I lost mine yesterday with the whole IFB debacle. So IFB meaning our earpieces it, in case you don't know. It sounds like the 1920s in my ears. So, you know, like, oh, wow. Like, listen, yeah, see, I'm going to go rob oh. with Bugsy at the. Connect me to Cherry Street, one, two, three, yeah. four, five. Well, let's get these uh, <laughs> filibusters in, uh, in the house. And, uh, yeah. Oh. That's what it literally sounds like. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this thing. And just Good, because that's what I want to sound like, though. The 1920s. Is that what it is? The they did have a really fun accent back then. Yeah, what was that accent about? I don't man? know. And there's just a clear way of speaking. I Whatever it, it is, it, it's, it, may, it paved the way for amazing accents. For yeah, and well. I don't know if Seth and I have talked about it, that we're going to be live out at the Barbasol for the show tomorrow. That's right. And on and Friday. For Friday. So, so we're going to have some fun out there. I think How's it's going to be a good time. The problem is, is as we're getting out there, see everybody's having their fun today with uh -huh. the uh, Pro-Am Pro and all that. Yes. It's raining, sure, but it's cool. Whereas when we get out there, it's going to be 90 degrees with a heat index somewhere around 100. Woo. Yeah, that's right. Caliente, as they say. <laughs> yes. Give me your thoughts. Um. <laughs> Let me know how. Let me, let me know I'm how not. That makes you I'm feel. not excited. I'm not excited. I'm glad. I hope all. <laughs> yeah, because we we saw you station, on day one. Where it was like friggin' sweat in my eye. Ugh. If you were watching on Monday, I got sweat in my eye, and then I stared directly into one of our lights on set. My eyes were like, "What's going? What are we doing?" Yeah, because not only is it already hot and bright out there, we already have the set lights on top of us too. So that just. It's like 115. I'm just going to wear sunglasses tomorrow and Friday and sit there with my eyes closed and no one will know because I'll have sunglasses on. Just like Haley, you're next. That's right. I'll Talk. be like, oh, chat. What? Do it. But join us. We're going to have tons of fun, that's even though right. it is going to be hot. And that's why I'm glad we have polos and shirts like this that are moisture wicking and breathable because we're going to need it. It's going to feel so good. Yes. So I'm sure you've heard of this new thing that's popping up, this new viral sensation. Everyone is talking about yes. it, I'm sure. It's the thing now, the face app. You uh. may have seen it. It shows you what you're going to look like when you're older. There's an app for it called Face App. Celebs are getting in on the action. You can see Carrie Underwood and her husband, Mike Fisher, here. <laughs> Wow. Others include I mean, it's like Terry Crews. Accurate. Oh, Terry Crews. <gasps> oh. What a sexy, sexy man he is. <gasps> is that Sam Smith? Sam Smith, uh, Dwayne Wade got in on it. Uh, Y'all look at this. Look at this. I mean, he looks so distinguished and handsome. I, saw, I like how it removed the hair and gave him a bald head. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. So if you've heard of Face App before, you have because it came out a couple of years ago. Did it really? I thought yeah. it just, I mean, I thought this was brand new. But it came out a couple of years ago, but people are really like getting into freaking it. out okay. about it because um, of the aging aspect. That's right. The app uses new, uh, neural networks, a type of artificial intelligence to edit the photos. Oh, okay. So you can also use the app to put a smile on your face, make you younger or swap your gender. That's okay. right. So we did it. Yeah. Yes, we were told early this morning, so you're gonna have to bear with me. I was right. I was. I just woke up when I when Are I. Are we doing Seth first or me first? That's okay, me. This is so Seth. I just woke up. You can see I just beautiful. I was do, I was updating the gram. I was like, what's up? Rise and angry. shine. I'm angry when I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so this is before. So this is my before, and let's, then let's look at your future. Oh, look oh at that. Oh my God. Okay, who do you think that looks like? Well, I cheated and I saw you posted yeah, it online. Yeah, posted on Facebook. But, but I see Robert De Niro, guys. Right? Look at that distinguished. These shoes, shoes. Look, I mean, look at even the mole on the on the on the right side of my face or the left side of my face right there. Yeah. Because look how accurate this is. Because there's been other apps that have done this in the past, <laughs> like aging apps. But this is like eerily accurate. I can't wait to see yours. Okay, okay yeah, that's so there before. He is, young man. That's before. Old man. Oh, look at that. Even it even grayed my beard. 
Uh, okay, so let's do mine now. Yeah. I literally am going to have to call my therapist on speed okay. dial. So I took okay. this this morning. There she is. Got you. What does right my future look like? Uh-oh. Oh. oh, what? Whoa. Why? <laughs> I think it's because I have my hair back. Like I was like, oh, I yeah. get the, um, the age and the gender. Because oh. I feel like I look very masculine for some reason. Ouch. Yeah, so Thanks, it, it didn't do anything to the hair, <laughs> right? It, it just, yeah, can we go back to the before real yeah. quick? Okay, okay. So it kind of, yeah, the, the hair is the same. Oh, oh, oh gosh. gosh. I need a lifetime supply It is such a slap Botox. in the face when it hits you like that. I'm sorry, Haley. I, I don't mean to make fun. But. I downloaded the app to take the picture that our producer said, we're doing this today, everybody's doing it, so yeah. we did it. I promptly deleted the app as soon as I sent those photos in. Because I'm like, I'm not doing this to myself. I'm depressed now. I'm depressed. I know, and, and, and everybody at home, we were taking pictures of everybody, and I yeah. have everybody's evidence on my phone right now. So, yeah. Emily, sorry. If you've done it, send them in to my Twitter or Seth's Twitter. Do it, or, yeah. Or we're going to post our side-by-sides on, uh, yeah. on Twitter as well, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Is it... It will. Yes. Okay, <laughs> a woman in Texas got to announce that she is cancer-free in a big way. Darla J broke the cancer-free bell at a Houston hospital Monday. Watch this. She's living. Whoa! Oh! So in case you haven't seen this before, they do this at a lot of hospitals. When a patient is declared cancer-free or okay. in remission, they get to ring the bell. And so it's like a really right. positive moment in the hospital. Well, she was going for oh, it. Yeah. And rightly so, girl. You are cancer-free. You are a rock Ooh. star. So well, not only did she beat cancer, she kicked its butt. She kicked its butt. Just like I love this. that bell right She there. left the hospital after 30 radiation wow. treatments for breast cancer. So happy that for she be such and the, her family. The best feeling in the world. Go, girl. All right. A 65-year-old Colombian man is busted in Spain for trying to smuggle drugs under his toupee. He may not have gotten away oh. with it if it wasn't for the ill-fitting hairpiece. Spanish media reports the man arrived in the airport in Barcelona on a flight from Bogota and struck out or stuck out like a sore thumb, as you can see here. Police said the man appeared nervous and his hairpiece was sitting several <laughs> inches above his head. Okay. The man was held in charge after authorities found half a kilo, which is about one pound of colon, cocaine, excuse me, under the toupee. One pound of colon. Colon, yeah, it? one pound of his colon <laughs> under his toupee. Ooh. What, what? That looks like one of those, do you guys know, uh, uh, that looks like one of those toys you had when you were a kid that was like uh, the jelly thing. Yes. It was the yes. plastic and filled you, like, with the gel and you try to grab it. It. Like, that's what looks like what's on his head right now. Like, I'd be like, oh, it's oh, It's kind of like that, that sausage thing where you squeeze it on one end yes. and, and, like, blew up on the other. And it, yes. And you'd run around and scare your sister with it. Yeah, that kind of thing. I wish I had a better photo of him straight on with the toupee sitting up here. Yeah. God and bless. listen, I've seen some weird-looking toupees in my day, all right? I don't wear them, but I've seen them. It's so hard not to stare. And I know. Like, I'm like, just, just blend it in. Just, just gotta... Oh, well, well do it. You, you go. you're not allowed to ever have a toupee. You've got a great head of hair, though. I, I, I try. You do. I try. Yeah. We'll mm -hmm. see how long it lasts. A police department in Tennessee is sounding the alarm about what they're calling meth gators. Mm. They posted a warning to Facebook on Saturday after officers found a suspect trying to flush meth and paraphernalia down the toilet. They say it's becoming a big issue for the city because drugs in the sewer system end up in retention ponds before they're sent downstream. Mm. Authorities are afraid that if the drugs make it far enough, they will end up being consumed by gators and other animals. Police urge residents to bring any drugs, including prescription meds, into their offices for proper disposal instead of flushing. Interesting. This as is if, something I hadn't thought about. As if we didn't have anything else to worry about down in Florida. I know. We've meth got gators. Meth gators. Oh, goodness. Great. Okay.